back to Palm Breeze Cafe. I'm Lee Keller. Hey, this is Computers for the Completely Clueless. Oh, I did it, didn't oh, I? Oh, <laughs> you did it. Uh, I always yeah. try to remember, remind Lee, but this is our other show. Palm Beach yeah. Cafe is our other other show. And both of them are on now Channel, channel 97. 97 here in Palm Beach yeah. County on Tune Comcast. up to the top end. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you can catch us there. Uh, so, Lee, we're talking about um, basics of, of um, illustration, really, yeah. uh, drawing with a computer. And as I mentioned before, drawing with a mouse is really, really hard. It's different. It is different. different. I mean, you really feel, I mean, you, you don't have, you know. But you, you know what? Making a straight line is easier. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and I have trouble doing a straight well, line. Well, making a straight line is really easy. And, and, and like most applications, I, I'm, again, I'm over on my left on my toolbox here. And in most drawing applications, if, if you hold down the shift key, mm -hmm. When you drag a dr around in a different area, know. notice how my line it just appears jumps to being straight. Right. It's it's either it's a uh, it's either uh, you know perfectly horizontal. Now it's at a 45 degree angle, and now it's perfectly vertical. And this is why so, I like drawing on a computer. Now I let <laughs> I go. Actually, I can actually and, do and straight. And there's lines. my perfect line. Now look at that thing though, Lee. What I'm going to zoom in here a little bit, and you notice these little squares on the end. Yeah, now those are literally called handles in a drawing application. And what you can do with a handle using the select tool is I can drag that handle yeah, into okay. a different location. So you can tweak it. So exactly. So it, oftentimes when you're drawing on a computer, you approximate what it is that you want to have. Now if I wanted to move the whole line, where would I grab well, it? Well if you wanted to move the whole line, you could just grab it in the middle. You see a little four headed arrow up here. Okay, so that's my line. Okay. All right, now I've selected it, and I can just drag it oh, okay. into the location where I want it to be. Now, the same kind of control handles are, are used for other shapes. Mm -hmm. So here's my rectangle shape, for instance. And if I want to expand the height of my rectangle, I can just grab one of these control handles in the middle. I want to uh, change the width. I can do that here. If I want to change it in the same proportion, I can grab from the corner. If I hold down shift, I guarantee that it always stays in the right proportion. Yeah, shift key comes in handy a lot. Shift key is really very useful when, when using drawing applications. Now, to get things a little bit uh, more interesting, you can use some of the other tools that come in with uh, the drawing program here. Some now, of them again, look a little scary. Well, they look a little bit scary, but they're not terribly scary. This one allows me to change individual points. Oh, now, you saw with the rectangle how I was able to. to yeah. scale it up, down, or uh, proportionally. Yeah. But now, with this little tool down here, like I'm can bend it. actually able to take an individual point and then make changes to just that point and kind of bend things around. So we'll take a look at that here in just a second. Let me see if I get my different options available, because I want to actually go and make this into a curve. So if I go to this button here, yeah. uh, I can then grab that point and, and I can start thinking about how I could make this into a curve. Maybe I should draw a different shape. Let's try yeah. that. Let's go with the circle. Right, I'm going to scroll down the page. Wow, a look at bit. all the shapes that are in there. Yeah, all sorts of fun shapes that you can choose from. Um, so, uh, and let me just click on the little fly out arrow here. And when I do that, there's a little black triangle that tells me there's additional options. Mm -hmm. So when I do that, I can go in and I can, oh, let's say I want to draw a donut. You could start your own Simpson series. Here. <laughs> yeah, there's my donut. <laughs> and what's cool is, again, control points allow me to make changes here. This control point here in the middle, this yellow one, mm -hmm. that allows me to adjust the width oh. of the hole of my donut. So I want to have something with more donut and less hole. There we go. That's what I'm after. Now, that's, <laughs> that's, that's pretty good, but let's look at some other tools here. And, and of course, we love effects. Effects I are want fun. to look at effects because what I want to do with this guy is I want to, if I could get to stay up here, come on, effects. I got effects on, but where are we at? Okay. Are these are my effects here? No, those are glue points. All right, I want to pull my effects up and make them, uh, get them out here into my, into my tool. Now, bar. like in other programs, uh, can you find some of these things from the uh, drop down menu at the top? You can, and uh, most of these, again, would be under tools. Uh, the way this one works, though, they tend to basically just turn things off or on. They're either available okay. or they're not. So if I want to get my effects line up, and that's what I'm having trouble with right now in this resolution that we're using, I want to look at my effects. And what I'm looking for is, is for this little blue arrow to appear. Maybe I can drag it over in there. 
Uh, maybe I should uh, try to customize my toolbar. There you go. Okay, you can do that too. Right? Absolutely. I can add things in here now. So my effects basically are way down here at the bottom. Well, yeah. I want to drag them up and put them in there higher. I you can know, as you did that. that, I saw the toolbar change over on the left. Right. So it just this is how I can. Maybe there's buttons in here that I don't think I'm going to use very often. Um, so I'm going to add a couple buttons in here, and we'll click OK. Now, let's see, where do my effects go? Did I get them finally? Or still still having trouble seeing those guys. All right, well, my effects are going to allow me to come in here and do things like apply gradients and do some other cool things. It looks like They also allow around. me to roll around the center of an image. I can do some 3D manipulation. R quite a lot of cool things that I can do um, using some of these tools. And again, this is all really easy. Notice how I can flatten out. Yeah my donut and uh, move it around within the shape. Now, one of the, again, one of the main things that you typically will do in a drawing application like this is you actually combine your shapes. Okay. So I have my donut laying on top of my rectangle here, and I want to cut out the uh, donut through my, through my rectangle. Now, why would you do this? Well, you would typically do it. Let's say you wanted to make a crescent moon. All right? okay. You could put one circle on top of another, cut out the top one, and you have a nice crescent moon right there. Wow. Okay? So, you know, not, you know, you, you think, well, gee, that's really not all that wonderful. But the nice thing is, is what it allows me to do is really take a basic shape and then end up with something much, much more, um, much more complicated. So, in this case, I'm going to subtract. Subtract that and pull it right out. My of donut. Okay. And now I've got, again, a whole different kind of shape that can be manipulated any way I want. I've got my control points here. And now, again, all sorts of really interesting and complex shapes can be created. So the main thing to remember here, Lee, is that as you're working with these illustrations, you look for the control handles. Okay. Uh, control handles take on a different color based on what they're able to do. And using those, you can manipulate a basic shape into all sorts of different um, uh, kind of different shapes. You can shapes. go back and change fill colors in those different regions. Absolutely. Though. And then you can do that. Absolutely. You can do that. Just come in here and, and select my object. And, and oh, wow. Away okay. we go. So Change now we're in a thing. different color. All right. So when we come back, we're going to take a look a little bit more about some of these options. And we'll talk about how we export out and are able to use these illustrations somewhere else. Okay.